So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Next.js app with zero config on Netlify. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so it seems like people have been really enjoying deploying Next.js apps on Netlify. So Netlify actually provides a few plugins for you to deploy Next.js applications uh, pretty easily. So just searching in the plugin system for, for Next.js, you can see that we have got Next.js cache, which uh, it also has Next.js dynamic routes. And what I want to point out is actually this, the essential Next.js plugin. It actually infers a lot of the Next.js stuff for you and requires no configuration. So if you do have an existing Next.js site on Netlify, you can go ahead and install this plugin and that will handle your configuration with a one click. I wanted to also point out if you had a Next.js site that was not on Netlify yet and you just want to get started today, the best thing you do is actually just deploy to Netlify. Now Netlify is actually doing all the work for you to get your Next.js site up and running on Netlify. So if you have a starter, uh, for example, this one, which is by Casadu, <laughs> that's a funny name to say out loud. Uh, so Casadu um, has a starter project. Uh, Casadu also works in Netlify. You simply just need to click the, the deploy the Netlify button, uh, connect that to your GitHub account. And just like that, you now have a, a Netlify site up and running for your project. So the video is basically done. I showed you how to deploy a site to Netlify and it's only been 60 seconds. But I can't help but wonder, is Faraj going to like it? Because he made the comment and I just want to know, Faraj, will you like this video? Let me know. Comment on this video. If I want to go in here, I can actually see the deploy is actually running. All right, it looks like it's actually finished. So I'm going to go ahead and click preview. And here you go. We got Next.js app working on Netlify. If you already have an existing site on Netlify, you can just go into the plugins directory and add the essential Next.js plugin. Now, a lot of times with the Next.js on Netlify plugin, you had to connect a lot of stuff in your configuration. All that's been removed by this one plugin. So, so I'm going to open up a GitHub code space. If you don't know about GitHub code space, I highly recommend you check out the feature page, github.com slash features slash code spaces. Go into my nextjs.config. Uh, because I don't need this, I can actually delete this. All right. And now I push it up there. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a like or a comment. Uh, I do appreciate you for watching this channel. Uh, it also helps if you do subscribe for any other tips on GitHub Actions or improving your developer content workflow. With that, stay saucy.